Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how you can create a card page and attach it to the list page. So this is my card page. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a list part or just card part to attach that list part to this card page. To do that, let's move to Visual Studio Code. So here, this is my card page and this is my teacher list page. And on this teacher list page, I have attached this teacher card. So now in this card page, I want to add a list part or a sub form. So to do that, let's click on this new folder, a page, and then choose new file and give a name to my list part. Enter. And now here, just Try to use a snippet for list and do the required changes. So in my case, the ID is 150104 and the name is class schedule subform or I can say teacher class schedule subform. Now here on table name, I will class schedule. Let's open a class schedule table. So the class schedule table contains many fields. Here you can see it's content teacher ID, line number, class ID, and many more. And the teacher ID and line number is used as a primary key. So this is a list part because I want to attach this part to the teacher card page. So make it list part. So for this page, I want to set a very important property called auto split key. This actually set whether a key is automatically created between the previous and the current record so this will create a new entry it is just work as uh, you can see your sales order when you create a sales order and when you are attaching a line to it then a line number is automatically generated for that so this is okay so auto split key is true here in our case teacher ID will automatically populate it to this sub form and the line number will generate it again and again for newer entries. So here layout is okay. In content I want to give the group name as line or just class schedules. Here I am not able to give space so I will give a caption here. So now here on fields I will attach several fields. So teacher ID will populate automatically. So here the line number will also automatically populate it. So to look into it I will show you by adding this to the list part teacher id i'm not going to set record this time field line number application id equal to all next field is class id next field is schedule day next field is schedule date next field is duration next field is scheduled end time here field schedule start time then field teacher name and then field class name so we are done with this list part so let's remove this area effect box because this is not applicable in action i am not going to use anything so just remove it now copy this list part and 
go back to the card page where you want to attach so just enter part here then class schedule semicolon and the name of the part now here to attach this teacher table with the class schedule table you must have to use a property called sub page link in sub page link we must have to define the correct child table relationship so here in this case i want to attach class schedule table record with my teacher table so i will use the teacher id of class schedule table as a child field so here teacher id equal to the field of the parent table from which on which i want to apply the relation so in teacher table i have id so i will write id here now application area equal to all so we are done with the changes now my teacher card contains a list part of the class schedule so let's press f5 to look into the changes here you can see we have 10 problems because in this list part i did not included record so when i will include a record this warning will goes away as here it's giving me warning in future it will become an error so to ignore that you must have to use record dot fill name to get rid of this in future so the extension is published to the server successfully now let's look for teacher teacher list here you can see teacher class sub form also showing in this area because i didn't remove this so for now if i click on this this is also so but we are not able to add anything here so to do that let's move to teacher list so open the teacher list click on edit here you can see teacher class schedule sub form is added and now teacher id is automatically populating here as i told you line number is zero when i will choose a class from here this line number will be filled automatically and when i will do the next entry this will again fill automatically so this is auto generating this is happening because we set auto split key property to true so the idea was to add these two fields in this sub form is to make you understand how it is working so as you can see the sub form is also available for us uh, this teacher class sub form so we remove this and now from this i also do not want to show these two okay because this is not important for us and here teacher name you can see class name is editable we can write anything in this so this is actually self populating because of our on validate code that i actually showed you in one of my previous video how you can write code on on validate so this was happening because of that so to make this field non editable we must have to set editable property to false as this is self populating field based on the class id so we must have to make it non editable so here you can see this is giving me class id 1 2 we can just move these fields just after the class id and now let's stop the debugger 
and try to publish this app again and see the changes as our changes successfully published to the server now again look for teacher list click on edit here you can see this class name is by default so i want to edit this record to change this value so here you can see this value is changed now uh, here let's add another field so this is added now at this stage you can see the teacher name is here for the first record but for the other record it is not populating because the teacher name is a part of auto split key means the part of family key so we are not changing it so if you want to populate this teacher name here for the class schedule subform you can do one thing go back to class schedule table so to resolve this i can just copy this code from here and uh, write this code under my class id change section i also include this variable so this code what will do whenever i will choose a class id or change a class id this will populate the teacher name based on the teacher id field because that teacher id is a part of primary key and due to auto split key it is populating by default so if that field have a value then it will show or populate the teacher name in the teacher name field so as you can see app has been published successfully to the server so let's go back to the browser and try to look for teacher list so search teacher list choose edit here you can see teacher name is only in the first column so let's try to change the class id you can see teacher name is populating and also for this teacher name is populating and if you choose a new record also you can see teacher name will be populated so this is how you can create a card page and a list part and you can attach that list part to that card page so this is so simple you can do this very easily in upcoming video i will show you how you can write some code on on validate trigger up duration to populating the scheduled end time based on that this time as you can see scheduled data if i am selecting 26 then and if i add schedule start time as 9 am and duration is 2 hour you can see here schedule end time is not populating accordingly so i will show you how you can do this in the next video that's it for this video if you want to get more videos like this please do like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching